हेलो एवरी वन आई एम लोकेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज बेसिकली ऑन दी हैक विथ इनफी प्रिपरेशन फॉर दी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बैच एज आई ऑलरेडी साइड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट सुन बी स्टार्ट दी प्रिपरेशन फॉर हैक विथ इनफी बिकॉज इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू इंश्योर दी ऑल दी प्रैक्टिस एंड ऑल दी क्वेश्चन दैट आर आस्क इन प्रीवियसली इन दी हैक विथ इनफी एग्जाम and uh, the practice uh, will make all the concepts clear regarding the particular hack with infi preparation so in this particular series we solve the previous year coding question plus assessment question and uh, soon a video will coming uh, on hack with infi related to the important topics that uh, what are the some important topics that are related to hack with infi like dynamic programming uh, greedy algorithm and uh, there are so many topics so uh, let's start the video and see what is the first question okay so for nftq hack with infi update you can join our telegram group i will share this the pdf in uh, on the telegram group as well as on the my blog okay for all updates on youtube channel you can just check on this link so uh, first of all uh, uh, we practice the round 1 previous year plus uh, this is related to advantage round of nftq also because advantage and round 1 of hack with infi is same so first we have to solve the implementation problem in this video so question is between two sets the name of question is between two set okay so what is the question there will be two array of integer okay so there will be two array of integer determine all integer that satisfy the following two condition okay so there are two integers uh, means there are two array okay and uh, we have to uh, we have to satisfy the following condition that is given for the integer okay so the integer uh, the elements of first array are all factor of the integer being considered okay so what it means ma, ma, means the if the 1 2 3 10 and all are the divisible by the particular means all are the factors are divisible by the particular element okay and the second condition is what the integer being considered is a factor of all element of second array okay so if we have a second element and a second array so all the factor are being considered so this is the particularly condition that are related to question so there is an example also and there is explanation also in the particular pdf and there is code also in the particular pdf i attached the code also and with the output okay and the code attached for the for the python and for the java also okay so what is our question let's see so this number are referred as to being between the two array okay determine how many such number exist means so there is a number a is equals to 26 and 24 36 so what actually it means means uh, i rough this and uh, let we see from start so it is very important to uh, important to understand the logic first because uh, without understanding the logic we cannot solve the question okay so these are the some important uh, questions that are related to hack with infi because uh, there are three questions so one is basic question second is medium and third is advanced so we solve all the questions okay so a is equals to 26 okay so a value is equals to 26 and uh, the b value is equals to 24 36 okay so b value is equals to 24 36 okay so these are the two number between the array 6 and 12 means we have to there is an condition that you read that this two this number are referred to as being between the two array okay so means we have to find the uh, number that is given in the particular array from this side to this side okay means we have to find the number between 64 and 24 that satisfy the following condition that is given for example let's see these are two number between the array 6 and 12 we have to find so, we have to find the two numbers or we have to find as so many as number that satisfy the following condition that is given in the particular okay so there are the two number let's suppose uh, for the explanation purpose there are the two number 6 and 12 okay that is find between 6 and 24 because there is a condition uh, that is given okay and we have to determine how many such number exist in between them okay so what it actually say 6 when we divisible uh, when we particular 6 is divisible by 2 so 6 is divisible by 2 or uh, we can say that 6 modulus 2 is equals to 0 okay so 6 is particularly factor and uh, if we uh, if we also 6 uh, uh, modulus 6 so is equals to 
so if we apply from 24 also so 6 also 0 and if we apply from 36 also so it is 0 for the first value because we have to the elements of first array are all of factor integer being considered if we consider this number in the particular series 6 and 24 so it will be particularly uh, satisfy the given condition that is given okay and what is the second condition second condition is 24 36 so the integer being considered is a factor so if we modulus remain the modulus of 12 2 okay so uh, it is also 0 we have to because the second number is 12 the 6 and 24 so 6 is the first number for the first value and 12 is the second number for the second value so 12 2 0 12 6 means we have to perform on this operation okay so this is the basic application uh, basic uh, explanation so this is uh, so there are the uh, there are the how many number of uh, how many numbers are present in between array so there are only two number 6 and 12 means uh, the our function will be written to okay so there is a function description called get total x in the function editor below or you can apply with your own concept also it should return the number of integer that are between the set get total has following parameter integer a and array of integer and array of integer and the number of integer okay what is this some input format that is given in the particular condition that first line contain two space separated integer n and m the number of element in array a and b okay the second line contain n distinct space integer and the third line contain m distinct space uh, space separated integer means the value particular in the array and b okay so this is the sample output that a uh, sample input that is the sum the value is given in the n and m is 2 and 3 and uh, what is the value particular given in this particular okay so we have to find the value in between them so what is the explanation as you can see that uh, there is the some value that is given in the uh, that is uh, given in the okay so what is the n value let's uh, see uh, let's uh, see the code and explanation one by one okay so what is the value of n n value is 2 okay so what are the two elements 2 and 4 okay you understand this okay so what is the uh, value of m m is 3 so 16 32 96 so this is the particular value what is the explanation we have to find the particular uh, in between 4 to 16 or this series okay so 2 and 4 divided evenly into 4 8 12 16 we have to divide from this point to this point and if uh, uh, if there are so many uh, if there are so many number that is given so let's uh, see the code what uh, the code say that firstly we have to define the uh, firstly we have to define the two particular n and m so that is uh, that is uh, uh, that is understand uh, that is the real value for the a and b means uh, that contains the value of a and b what are the value in the array particular a and what are the particular in the b so the uh, you can see that uh, you can see that what is the value uh, if the value of n is 2 so there are the two values and uh, m value is 3 so there are the three values okay so this is the concept this is the basic concept okay so first we have declared the answer variable is equals to 0 firstly we run a loop for i in range 1 to 101 because it is important to do that what is the array that is given in the particular condition and there are some uh, why we take this particular range 1 to 101 because there are some constraint that also given in the particular question i not included in this in there that but there are so many constraint that is given in the particular condition that you have to include the value of particular okay so for i in range 1 is equals to 101 we have uh, firstly we assign the flag is equals to true because we have to find the value that uh, how many uh, so how many numbers that are arises in between okay so for j in a for particular j in a what are the values of a the values of a are uh, suppose we the value of a are 16 32 and 96 so firstly we have just print the value so what if we print the j value okay so it uh, just uh, simply print the a value if you want to check the condition that is given to if uh, it's uh, not equals to or equals to 0 so if uh, i is modulus j is not equals to 0 so flag is equals to false and break because we already defined the flag is equals to true okay so then we check the another condition in the for loop itself and if uh, in the uh, different condition that if flag is equals to we have to check the two condition okay 
we have to check the first condition for 2, 3, uh, first condition for the 2, 4 and then the next condition for 16, 32, 96. Okay, so we another, uh, we make another and if a flag is equal to, uh, this loop will check the particular value that it will be not divisible or divisible by uh, 0. Okay, so it will be not divisible by 0. So the value particular in the particular not divisible by 0. So flag is equal to false because we already uh, de derive or already assign the value of flag is equal to true. So there is a break and if flag is equal to, if flag answer plus 1 means if the if this condition also falls, so this condition occur and we print the value of answer. So what is the basic concept here? We just have to find the number that is given in between them. There are the 2 and 4. Just divide the number. Uh, you have to find the 4 to 16. So what are the some numbers that is given in the particular condition? If you run this code, like uh, there are the 2 values that is given in the N, uh, A and 3 values that is given in the 2. So there are the three numbers that is given from particular 4 to 16. So what are the number 2 and 4 evenly divided by means you have to particular check in the condition in between them. Okay. So uh, what it uh, what the question arises that the question arises that if we divide the whole means if we divide from 2 to 4 not to uh, 2 16. So it is not the concept you just need to understand what is the logic behind between the question and you just need to understand the question and just solve the question okay so i uh, i think you understand the particular code and if you have any doubt in the question just uh, drop your query in comment section this is the first question that is related to between two sets and you just want to perform the operation okay you have to divide the that we divide the particular condition like uh, just take in example 2 6 24 36 so what is you have to find the value in between 6 to 24 because the value is in between 16 to 24. Okay. So firstly, it will divide the 6 modulus 2. So what is the value of 0? So it check with the 2 also. It check with the 6 also. It check with the 24. It check with the 36 because the following two condition will satisfy. Okay. And the two number are in between them 16 and 12. So you just need to understand the following concept and following implementation that is given in the particular code. So I hope you understand this code. If you have any doubt, just drop your query in comment section. Uh, wait for next video. Thanks for watching the video.